The Russian Aerospace Forces VKS, Aggressor Squadron has received its first three Su-35S fighter jets. The three planes flew from the Suhoi Kane AAPO factory airfield in Komsomolska on Amur in Russia's Far East on September 9, 2022 and arrived the next day. They landed in Prevolsky, Astrakhan region, southern Russia, after traveling about 3,850 miles 6 kilometers. This delivery is an implementation of the third contract for the Su-35S. Before the end of this year UAC will also deliver the first Su-35S jets to the Russian Ministry of Defense for implementation of the fourth contract. Prevolsky Air Base near the city of Astrakhan is home to the VKS 185th Center for Combat Training and Combat Applications. The center is tasked with replicating combat conditions, providing realistic training in combat tactics for pilots and other air defense units. The 116th Combat Flight Application Training Center, a component of the 185th Center, is sometimes referred to as the Aggressor Squadron. Aggressor squadrons are designed to expose pilots to high-end training, covering aircraft, systems and operators that offer realistic aerial presentations of potential adversary equipment, tactics and techniques. The goal is to prepare pilots on the front lines for real air combat. The Suhoi Su-35S is the designation for two improved derivatives of the Su-27 air defense fighter. They are single-seat, twin-engine, supermaneuverable aircraft, designed by the Suhoi Design Bureau and built by Suhoi. The Suhoi Su-35S carries a 30mm cannon, has 12 hard points and can detect targets at more than 400 km, while its radar can track up to 30 targets simultaneously. The fighter has range in excess of 3,500 km without refueling. The world's most powerful fourth-generation fighter's standout features include new engines, avionics and radar. Use of high-thrust engines is a significant differentiator of Suhoi Su-35 from predecessor Su-27 family jets. The new engines were developed by NPO Saturn, a UEC subsidiary, and are known under the 117S Dysk Nation. The navigation system can identify the aircraft's location independently from satellite positioning and without communicating with ground-based systems, at accuracy levels double those offered by earlier versions. BIN's SP-2 has an expected operating life of 10,000 hours, nearly double that of currently available comparable navigation systems.